Good morning, my little after dinner mints. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do something that is going to be a challenge for a lot of you. You're going to be using rudimentary things to make a compass, and with that compass, you're going to be making a hexagonal floret. Hexagonal means it has six sides, floret means it resembles a flower. The first step is going to be making a compass, and I'm going to show you what you need and how to do that right now. I'm not going to assume you have a compass, and I'm going to show you how to make a compass. You're going to need a pencil, and you're going to need some string, and you're going to need a thumbtack, the one that has the bit of a handle on it. Also helpful will be a pair of scissors, and some cardboard, because you probably don't want to put holes in your coffee table. With those, you're going to make a compass. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your pencil, make sure it's sharp in advance, then you're going to go down toward the end of the pencil with your scissors. You're not chopping it off. You're just closing the scissors as you spin, and you're creating a divot in the pencil. Next, you're going to take your string. Cut yourself maybe 10 inches. You don't need a ton. In fact, you don't want a ton. Tie the string around the pencil, snug but not too tight. You don't want it so tight that the pencil can't spin in the string. Tied. You're going to take your thumbtack and you're going to tie it. Now you don't want to tie this tight either and you also don't want it super long. I would say two inches is a good length. This is going to be the radius of your circle. So I just cut off some extra and I have my compass. Now the reason I have the cardboard is because I don't necessarily want to be jabbing my thumbtack into the table or my work surface. Take my compass. I'm going to drive it into the middle of the paper and I'm going to swing an arc. I have to move my hand because I'm in the way of myself. If you're unsure, it's okay to draw a couple lines. The average will turn out to be more correct than any one particular line. Now I'm going to go to the edge of the circle, drive my thumbtack in, and swing an arc that crosses through the center hole I just made. I'm going to go to one of these intersections, and it doesn't matter which intersection from which I just created, but I want to cross the center hole. Now I'm going to go to the next intersection I just created. I'm going to go all the way around this circle. Now, now I'm going to line it up with both the center of the circle and the intersection I just created. Swing that arc. I like saying swing an arc when I'm doing my math. I sound cool because math is cool. Intersection, center. My hexagonal floret. Looking at this lovely hexagonal floret, you may notice that if I connect all the edges, I'll end up with a hexagon. That's a nice mathematically precise hexagon. And what happens if I connect every other point? Why, I have an equilateral triangle. And if I connect the three remaining sides, I now have a Star of David, made from two equilateral triangles. If you were to give me a drawing where you made this shape and colored it in, I would not be mad, because I know you've used your compass to make the hexagonal floret. Or you create a Star of David hexagon, a more uh, straight-line geometrical shape. I'm okay with it. I do want to see it in color. Here's how the grading is going to go down. This is a 1. It is clear to me from this picture that no one used any instrumentation at all. A 2 is the minimum passing grade. A 2 shows me that you made a hexagonal floret shape 
So it's got the six petals and they're relatively even. You didn't color it. You didn't give me any extra detail. That's okay. This will get you a passing grade. You've done the hardest part. The three is the hexagonal floret with the outline darkened and it's colored in. Say you want a four. This four was made with two length strings. I started by making the first hexagonal floret, which you can see as the yellow and orange, and you can see the center circle. I used a shorter compass and I swung these arcs. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. I have made another compass with a shorter angle. Watch what happens when I draw. So I'm gonna go into that same center point and I'm going to swing an arc. So now I have another circle. You can see that that circle is smaller. And when I come through here and I go to each one of these six points with it, I'm just gonna swing an arc along the edge. Swing an arc. Next one. Just as long as what I do at one point, I do at the other five points, and it's all even, it's gonna look really cool. So now you see, it still looks geometric, but it looks more elaborate and complicated now, and similar to this shape. So there you have it, a hexagonal floret, whether it be just the six points, more elaborate with a second shorter radius, or whether it be your straight lines to create that geometric shape. When you take your picture of your shape to show me, show me your compass too. I'd like to see how you all do. If you don't have a thumbtack, any sort of pointed shape will work. A thumbtack's just the easiest because it has that little handle already built in. I'm uh, interested to see how you all do this. And we're not gonna culturally appropriate and call them mandalas because they're not.